Hi everybody, this is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy. Welcome to lesson number 20. In this lesson, we will be looking at two new exceptions to the closed syllable rule, old and iold. Let's set up the table. You'll start with your top 160 sight word list, the sight word study method instruction sheet, the card pack on which the two students currently working, some blank cards, a highlighter markers, and some pencils. For the short vowel drill, you'll have the teacher instruction sheet, the keyword pictures, and the keyword sentence. For the phonemic awareness drill, you'll need the teacher instruction sheet and the colored tiles. The visual drill and auditory drill will, will require the teacher instruction sheet and the card pack on which the student's currently working. Then we have the syllable card drill, and you'll have to cut that one out in advance. Then we've got the magnetic letter tile drill for spelling and reading. For that one, you'll need the cookie sheet with the magnetic letter tiles all spread out in a rainbow shape and the teacher instruction sheets. You'll have the syllable pounding sheet and the new phoneme grapheme discovery uh, instructions, which you won't use today because we're introducing some other new content. You'll have the other sheets that were attached to the lesson plan, including the single word list, the story, and the sentences. In addition, we're going to have some sliders because we've introduced quite a few closed exceptions already, and a great way to review these is by using sliders. It's a nice, quick way. Once the student has mastered one of these exceptions, you no longer have to do the sliders. There's all the ones we've covered so far. And lastly, we'll need to put up some blending drills to, for the new content that we're going to cover in this lesson. We're looking at old and ILD. So you'll use the little paper tiles with the graphenes on them and you'll set them up in advance, or I can lead you through it in the lesson because I will do that as well. So you can choose if you wanna fast forward through me or um, not. Let's start with the sight word study method. Student, take out your card pack with the words on which you're currently working. You're going to read each card and then give a check in the corner of your card for each time you read it correctly. Teacher, you're ready with blocking strategies in case the student encounters problems. Then student, it's your turn to give those cards to your teacher and your teacher will read the words and you can write them down. When you write a word correctly, you give it a check in the other corner of the index card. Afterwards, if any words are mastered, you can remove them from the card pack. If there's time, that you and the teacher can introduce a new sight word. It's time for the short vowel drill, so take out your keyword pictures and your keyword sentence. Student, you're going to say apple, ah, and I'm not sure how many times you're doing that now. You started off with five, but as you gain mastery, then you gradually decrease it. And eventually, you'll no longer be doing this drill once you've mastered all those short vowel sounds. So go through them all right now and then say your keyword sentence, stretching out the vowel sounds. Let's do the phonemic awareness drill. Student, you're going to need your colored tiles for this one. Take out a tile and call it S. Can you repeat that sound? Okay, now take out a new color and call it ing. All right, I want you to tap each sound, those two sounds, say each one, and then blend it together. And what's your word? Did you say sing? If you did, that's right. Find the ing in sing and touch it. Change the ing into ang. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get sang? If you did, that's right. Okay, if that's sang, I would like you to find the s in sang. Change the s into a b. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get bang? That's correct. Find the b in bang. Are you touching it? Change the b into a l and tap it and say it. Did you get lang? Okay, now take a new tile and let's put it on the front. We're going to call it k. 
So we're adding k to lang. Tap it and say it. What's your new word? Did you get clang? If you did, that's right. Okay, you can put your tiles away. Good job. Let's do the visual drill. The teacher shows the student the card and says, what sound does this make? And student, you would say, stir. Do six to eight cards and then come back to me. Let's do the auditory drill. The teacher has the card pack and is not showing anything to the student. The teacher says, your sound is sp. Can you repeat that sound? Now what symbol is sp? Write the letters on the paper and then underline it and say the sound again. At the end, you can check. How'd you do? Okay, teacher, do that for six to eight cards and then come back to me. Let's do the syllable card drill. Your teacher has it all set up for you on the table. You'll read down the left column. Then you'll read all the words in the right column. Then it's time to make some nonsense words and you're going to read across the rows and they'll, they'll all be nonsense words. And then you can unscramble the words in the second column to form real words. Read them and then you can discuss what they mean and possibly use some in sentences. Let's practice pounding out syllables. This is where you stretch out your arm and every time you hear a syllable, you're going to have one finger that comes shooting out. You're listening for the vowel sounds. Every time we have a vowel sound, we have a new syllable. Can you pound out invent? Did you say to? That's what I hear. I hear the i in in and the e invent, invent. Okay, how about in? Did you say one? If you did, that's right. How about inventing? Inventing. Pound it out. I hear three in inventing. How about subcontract? Did you say three? If you did, that's right. Here's a big one. Subcontracting. Did you say four? If you did, that's right. We've been working on exceptions to the closed syllable rule. Can you talk to your teacher about what it means? What do we mean when we say exception to the closed syllable rule? And teacher, you can have an example ready there. Maybe we'll have all, and the student can tell you why all is an exception to the closed syllable rule. We've come to know and trust the closed syllable. We can trust that the vowels are going to say apple, eddy, itchy, all living up. But there are certain combinations, and there's not too many of them. We're, we're well on the way to being through them. And these combinations of letters are situations where the vowel's doing something unexpected. So here we can trust that A is going to say apple, and that word is al. But when we have this A-L-L -L situation, it's making the olive sound, all. And we just have to be aware of that. A lot of these problems happen because spelling never changes, but the way we speak changes over time. Uh, we're notoriously lazy speakers in English and we uh, mess around with the vowel sounds to make it easier on ourselves. Let's review some of the closed exceptions that we've done so far by doing sliders. Teacher, if you have the sliders ready, then you can just fast forward through me. Otherwise, you can use the video.
We're going to learn about two new exceptions to the closed syllable rule. The first one will begin with a regular closed syllable that we can just trust. If I had O and L, what would you expect it to say? It would say A and O, right? All. It happens in the word doll. But when I add a D to the end of all, it's not what you would expect, ald. Instead, the O is going to say its name, old. So we have to be aware that that O-L-D combination is an exception. The O will say its name. It happens in lots of words. With your magnetic letter tiles in the rainbow shape, can you put O-L-D in the middle? And then I just want you to take different consonants and bring them onto old and put them on the front of old and see all the new words you can make. When you're done with that, you can do the blending drill to practice old. There is one more exception that we're going to talk about today, and it's only an exception in three words that are common words. So teacher, with the magnetic letter tiles, could you build the word children on the letter tile board? CH makes CH, and CHILD in the first syllable in children is exactly as we would expect it to be. But what happens if there's only one? What's the word we use when we're not talking about multiple children? We're talking about one child. Take away the R-E-N teacher, so it's just child there. Now what sound is happening in child? In the vowel, child. It's the long I sound. And yet, if we apply our definition of what is a closed syllable, there's one vowel and it's followed by one or more consonants. So we know that's a closed syllable, but it's making the wrong vowel sound. So this is an exception to the closed syllable rule. Put the R-E-N back onto the word. Listen to it being said correctly. Children. Do you hear the I sound? That's exactly like it should be. But then we remove the R-E-N and it's child. This long, <clears throat> sorry, this long I sound happens in th three situations when we have the ILD. It happens with this word, M plus ILD, mild. Someone who is mild-mannered tends to be pretty calm, which is the opposite of somebody who is, here's your second word, wild, W plus ILD. And I can think of uh, larger words where these sounds are, you know, the, the ones that we would expect, like wilderness. That's part of wilderness. And as a one-syllable word, mild is the exception saying I, but it could say it in mildew. And here's our last one. Ch plus ild. Child. To remember this, I, I imagine that when these words started to be said incorrectly, maybe there was a mother and she's in the Middle Ages and she's standing at the door and her wild child is outside and she's saying, child, be mild, not wild. And uh, that's just a little image in my mind that helps me to remember the three. So maybe that'll help you. Mild, wild, and child. Don't be wild, be a mild child. Yeah. There is no blending drill for that one because there's just the three words that we have to remember. There's only three that commonly do that ILD. Let's practice using the exceptions to the closed syllable rule by doing the magnetic letter tile drill. Do you have your, your board out? I'm going to tell you your first sound is G. Can you repeat that sound? 
Now find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Your next sound is a combination of letters and it's old. Find the tiles for old and pull them to the middle. Now tap it and say it. Gold. Okay, let's try a new one. Your sound is mmm. Can you repeat that sound? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Now for this one, I can actually hear all the sounds in the word, so I'm going to tell you all the sounds. The next one is I. Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Then we have O. So find the correct tile and, oh, sorry, can you repeat that sound? And then find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. And the last sound is D. Can you repeat that sound? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. What's your word? Tap it and say it. Did you get mild? That's right. Teacher, if you have time, you could do another word with the magnetic letter tile drill. And if not, then move right on and you can have the student read the isolated word sheet and the story. We're moving into the writing section of the lesson. So let's take out the magnetic letter board again. Student, I'm going to tell you that your word is fold. Can you repeat that word? I might say, I will fold the laundry. Can you put the word fold in the sentence? What's the first sound that you hear in the word fold? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Now the next part of this word is an exception that we've learned about and it requires multiple letters getting pulled down. It's old. Can you repeat that sound? Find the correct tires, tiles for old and pull them to the middle. Tap it and say it. Good job. Now put your tiles back and get ready for your new word. Okay. Your word is bank. Can you repeat that word? I might say, I will go to the bank to make a deposit. Okay. What's the first sound that you hear in the word bank? Okay. And the second, find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. The second sound is one of those exceptions we've been working on. What's the second sound in bank? It's going to require multiple letters, so pull them down and then tap it and say it. Teacher, if you have time, you can do another one. Otherwise, let's move on to tapping. Student, you'll need your line paper and your pencil. I will tell you the word and then you can tap it out saying the sounds as you tap it. And if we're doing an exception, I if it was ball, I might go b and then tap like this for ball. That might be my symbol that there's three letters there. Um, you can just go like this and go two if you want. Um, so it'd be b all. That's how I would do it. Or b ang. Uh, okay. So your word is bold. Tap it out and then write it down with your pencil. Teacher can check the work. All right, your next word, you can trace it. And your word is hang. So trace it out and write it down. For the next one, you can decide what you would like to do. Would you like to tap it or would you like to trace it? Your word is wild. Okay. And the last part of the lesson is that there are three sentences. Teacher, you can read all three sentences to your student and your student can choose which two um, will be the ones that will be chosen to be written. After a sentence is written, the student will use chops to check the work. Let's do a quick review before you go. We learned about two new exceptions to the closed syllable rule. Here's the first one. 
instead of saying ah like we expect this O to do, it doesn't. So how do we read this word? It's old. And here's our other one. We would expect this to say the itchy sound, and it certainly does in lots of words like children, mildew, but it's also an exception. There's three words where the I is going to say its name. Wild, child, and mild. Can you say those three words? Wild, child, mild. So the I is going to say its long sound. Great job today. This is the end of lesson 20. This is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy.